Well, good afternoon, Michael and Larry. Thank you so much for being here in Florence at the Masquerade Opera Studio. We are delighted and honored to host you to record your Amici e Rivali concert here um, with us this afternoon. I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about what we're doing here. So in 2017, um, I, alongside my two co-producers, Roger and Frankie, uh, founded the New Generation Festival in the gardens of the Palazzo Corsini, where we are um, sitting right now. And this was a festival set up to support the top young international um, talents in the world of opera, but also classical music and jazz, and in fact, uh, all, all regions of live performance. And crucially, to create a new and younger audience uh, for, for the genre, which we've been delighted with. And over three years, we've now had an average of 50% of our audience under the age of 35, which is um, extremely exciting. Um, and as of September this year, we have launched our Masquerade Opera Studio, which is a fully funded, nine-month-long um, post-conservatoire level training program for eight uh, opera singers and two repetiteurs. And this is um, a unique institution, and I'm delighted to present it to you. We are not attached to any, any opera house, any program, so what we're able to offer here is a totally tailored and uh, individual experience to each of our artists, which we re really believe in. So we can take people from slightly different stages, slightly different backgrounds, and, and create a, a course specific to them, which is something we absolutely believe in. I just wanted to take the moment to introduce that to you. And, um, and what I'd really love you guys to, to, um, to tell our audience is, is you know, what you believe is important for young singers and why you believe an institution like here in the Masquerade Opera Studio in Florence, in the inspirational Renaissance settings of these gardens, can be very important for the future of our profession. Well, I, I, I think it's absolutely fabulous what you're doing here, because uh, I know of no other program that is doing this in the entire world. Uh, and I travel all of the time, and I, I, I wanted to do something like this uh, you know, 20 years ago, but there was just nothing uh, that was not connected to a university or, or a large uh, opera company. And for me, being from a small town in the Midwest, it was virtually impossible um, to start a career where, where I was from. And uh, I dreamed of a place like this when I was starting out. And to know that it's come to fruition is absolutely uh, uh, amazing. And uh, what you're offering the students, I, I think, is it's truly incredible because you're tailoring each of the uh, programs to them. And this is, uh, this is something that I, I know of nowhere that, that is doing this. And I, I find it perfect uh, for, for what, for what the, uh, the singers and the young artists are going to be uh, doing in the future. Um, this type of mental training uh, is absolutely crucial and very few people realize how important this is because uh, it doesn't matter where you are in the stage of your career, just starting out or being famous. It can be one of the most uh, uh, difficult things to deal with failure and success. That's the odd thing people don't talk about. What, it, what does it mean when you reach your goals? And I, I still remember one of the very first goals that I set was to, to be the lead in, in a major European opera house. And I did that uh, with my dream role, which was uh, Tamino in the Zauberflute in Berlin. And uh, once I got there, and as soon as the curtains finished, I had no idea what to do because I had achieved the dream that I set out for for 10 years. And it took me on a long psychological journey of what to do exactly um, with success. And uh, most of the time, we know how to deal with failure. But I think it's one of the most interesting things is the psychological, and especially taking the, the wonderful literature that's, that's already been established in the sports psychology and bringing it to, to the, uh, uh, the, the, the operatic uh, uh, and uh, classical experience is absolutely invaluable, and it's something that's really cutting edge because I don't, I'm one of the only other people that I, that I know that, that actually reads that kind of literature, and to bring it towards uh, the, the classical realm is, is absolutely revolutionary, and I think it's fantastic what you're doing. Oh, thank you, Michael. That's yeah. an amazing endorsement. <laughs> no, I mean, to tag on to what Michael said, everything he said is absolutely spot on, but I think the beautiful thing, being here in, in the Corsini Gardens, uh, being in the center of Italy with the language, and they have that, which is a completely important element of being a professional international opera singer, which I believe the singers uh, in the program that you want to create is 
that's the path you're on, to have that as the foundation, the foundation, hearing it, living in it, being, having to be able to produce that. And of course, the, the encouragement of other languages, I think that's so important. Um, I wish I had had that, you know, like Michael, I also thought about uh, doing something like that. I still have designs and having some type of summer festival. That's one of been, my, been one of my dreams uh, for many years. But the infusion of the language and, of course, all the elements that come with that, the pronunciation, the ownership of the language uh, helps you so much uh, when you go around the world. Oftentimes, uh, when you don't speak English, the second language is Italian. And to be able to have that functionality in theaters in France and Germany and wherever you are, I think it's important. And to bring an international group, thinking global, that's really big, you know? An international group together, I think there's so much to learn and I think these students are going to grow exponentially and I think that they will look back on this time in your, the, the festival and, and the, the program that you have that they will think that this is a very, very important element of their success in the future. So I applaud you for, uh, for starting this, all of the, the factions that come together to do this. Uh, this is a really, really, really big thing. Thank you very much. And you're both absolutely welcome always to pitch your ideas <laughs> our way. We are, we are very, we're very open. And, Collaboration. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and I think, uh, you know, one of the things we've really been, been working on through the festival and now in the program, is what will it mean to be an artist in, in this century coming up? And also, crucially now, what is it going to mean to be an opera singer or a musician in a post-coronavirus world? I mean, this is so important, and we've got to, to grasp with these, these questions, and we've got to grasp with how we make the argument for live performance. So uh, I, you know, we all have to work together and, and come up with yeah, but, well, a whole new system. I, I, go yeah, go ahead. Well, I mean, I think it's in this time mm -hmm. where you are fully functional in doing all the things you're doing during Corona. I think we'll, it will help people be inventive and try to find ways. I think, you know, when we use media and other mediums uh, to perform our art and to be able to put something out in the atmosphere, I think this will be the stepping stone to other things that are greater. And so I think people will become inventive. I think we will show we will show our resiliency, and I think a lot of positive things, even though COVID is difficult to deal with, I think a lot of things will come from this that will benefit all of us as artists and you know, you know, people who are passionate about this art form. I think so. And to reiterate what he was saying, um, uh, because he's one of the, one of the major artists that's uh, really adapted this new, new form of technology of being able to do webcasts and podcasts. And I had the wonderful experience of uh, last night getting to meet one of my uh, absolute uh, heroes uh, and talking to him. But the, the inventiveness is, is what we are supposed to be doing as artists. We are, we are um, as artists, that's our goal and our main duty is to show um, uh, the world anew to, to, to people and to be inventive. And uh, what, what you all are doing here, and uh, it's, it's fantastic because that's another element that uh, I talked to them a few weeks ago about, uh, is that a major part in their program is, is teaching them about how to do webcasts, how to do um, uh, personal videos, how to, how to sell themselves uh, among this, this time that is so, so different. And it's, uh, it's really an art form, but it's really fun to watch you too because you can see how how, uh, how smooth and wonderful what you're doing is, uh, because this is, this is something that's very important. It's going to be very important for our, for our uh, artists in the future. And uh, uh, some, of, some of the people that, that uh, are in, in our age category uh, still feel that the, uh, the opera world uh, is uh, where it was 10, 15 years ago. But now with, uh, with everyone getting involved and the language of uh, uh, interactive media, it's so crucial that, uh, that younger singers understand and, uh, and focus on how to present themselves in the new media form. And uh, as I said, what, what you guys are doing here is absolutely fantastic. And I love the, I love the idea that it's a trained program to, to teach people how to, how to be successful, um, not only be great singers, but how to be successful um, uh, as a business of, of one. And uh, it's very, very crucial. And I, I know that a lot of uh, programs do that um, to a certain extent, but uh, I think the, the ability that you have to do this one-on-one -on -one training and bringing in people personally that, that are in the, the new media of, uh, of, of uh, web uh, cam and, uh, and all of these uh, um, new apps, I think it's absolutely crucial. And a lot of people are still dragging their feet on this in the, uh, um, in the classical music world. Uh, 
and uh, I, I, I think it's absolutely fantastic what you're doing, really. Well, thank you very much, guys. That's, uh, that's smashing. So just a quick final question um, for you guys about our Opera Studio, and then we'll move on to the, the, the exciting topic of the day. Um, so we're starting out, this is our, we're in week five of our program. Where do you think uh, we should be aiming for to be in, the, in five years' time as a program? Well, as, uh, as I see a lot of uh, programs uh, start around, around the world, the, the hardest thing is, is to, to, to get the motivation and, um, uh, and the, the community and the international community behind. And the, the first five years, I think what, uh, I, I've already talked to you a little bit about the, the future program, um, and I, I find it fantastic why uh, you want to keep the keep the academy small so you can keep the one-on-one -on -one training. And I think that's absolutely crucial because when, when academies and uh, studios uh, become too big, the, the experience uh, gets a little uh, washed out and, and uh, the, the students don't have enough one-on-one uh, -on -one time. And I think uh, that you have already had a plan to, to go five, in, uh, five years into the future and you're, you're looking for long sustainability, that's the main, uh, the main goal that I would say because I think you have all your ducks in a row, absolutely. And I, I, I feel that in, in five years, uh, people are gonna really uh, know, this, know this academy, uh, unlike other, other places around the world that, uh, that, that, are not, um, that are starting to fold because um, they're still working on a different model form. And you, you've really done such a good job of uh, setting up your ind independence and uh, looking f towards the future for these, uh, for these wonderful uh, singers that I, I think that I'm not worried about you guys at all in the next five years. <laughs> well, I think it's important that you remain hyper-focused on the individual, you know, c creating the whole complete artist. Of course, when you talk about the psychology aspect and the musicality, of course, the language, as I said before, which is such an important element, if you remain hyper-focused and that the people that are graduates of this program, when they go out into the world, they will be your best ambassadors. They will be able to say that this program gave me all the things I needed specifically individual, uh, individually. And so if you can remain hyper-focused on every individual, it'll do the work itself. These people will be singing your praises all around the world as they take the stages of, you know, Maggio Musicale, La Scala, the Metropolitan Covent, Art, Covent Garden. All these people will be, te be telling and talking about the things that they learned in this program. So is if you remain, if you remain Commit it to the, the fundamental foundation of what this, uh, this whole thing you created was meant to be. I think that that's where you will be really, really ahead of the game, and already you're making a name for yourself. So that's great. Thank you very much, guys.